I don't know what I'm connected to. Where are we going right now? We are back. Live now. We're back. We're back. We are back here at Misbehaving Meads. We Hello. are CCSK Hello, Law. Chief. Got Kurt RG and myself, Isaac. Uh, Jordan is on assignment. But uh, yeah, you, you may have had that glitch. We, we shut down for a second. It wasn't me this time. It wasn't him. It wasn't his fault. This is Facebook. Technical. You know, it was a technical error. But Not an uh, operator error. Maybe it wasn't Facebook. Maybe it was the internet connection. Could have been Xfinity. Could have you know, been. I mean, if this is a lawsuit, been, you'd so sue all the way Somebody, the somebody put everybody. a laughing face on ours. Oh, Whoever yeah. did that, I don't know who did the laughing face, but we accept all laughing faces. Though. We do. That yeah. had to be my wife, I'll bet. <laughs> that would be funny. Video uh, ended. I can't are. even, I can't even, I'm not even seeing any comments for. We're back now. We are back. We're now. back. We can see we're on, but that's about yeah. it. Thanks for about the life. I had no little comment there. Oh, in did the they have a comment? up there in the middle. Oh. So thanks for always making it all approachable. Uh, you know what? I think I'm watching the replay of the one from earlier. <laughs> Yeah, I, okay. This is I don't have the sound on. So yep, the live one's me. only been there for. Um, we should thank Apple Life in, in this one. Awesome. It, okay, oh, wait, we're back. Yeah, yeah, so I got to the end of one again. So, but we're here. Oh, it's we're so here. confusing. This is a little bit confusing. Which we're not. Wait, don't hit anything. Oh, we're not technology attorneys. I was gonna hit. Thanks, thanks, Apple Life. No, no, you almost hit the red thing. I won't. I'm not gonna hit the red thing. That Do not hit me. the red button. Wait, this one? Yeah, right. I'm not going to talk about Facebook. podcasts because like Facebook just talk completely podcasts. folded up on me. It's I think Facebook is censoring our talk because I talked about podcasts. Oh, um, you said we should start a podcast. I said we should like, no. like shut that down. Yep, not doing it. Mm. My wife, yeah, if she's so. watching, she will appreciate that quote from Megan from Walking Dead. <laughs> uh, I'm a little more politically correct than he was. As we're so that's, yeah, uh, well, that's nice. No, I'm trying to for the best. Yeah, I try. We are trying to represent here. So it's Thanksgiving this week. Happy yeah, Thanksgiving is. to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving to everybody else. Yeah. Well, and here's the crazy thing. Now I can't tag, tag you. Oh, see, well, <laughs> maybe that was a problem. You tagged somebody in. And oh, this was like, we were all oh. tagged in. And, um, well, they've actually enough. got, so here's the thing. So they've got certain things that I can tag about Bo Life. Well, we'll that's nice. Life. That's helpful. Yeah, we can tag them and say thanks for the comments. But Facebook will have things like <laughs> if there's certain, like if people make certain comments, um, or talk about certain things during a live, they'll actually shut it down. Oh, so but, but, so like so like I don't know how that has anything to do with me being able to tag it, you. It doesn't. Not. It doesn't. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying in general. Maybe they maybe they have a reason why they don't want people tagged in these oh, because yeah. that's not how they're doing it. They'll let you tag Valpo, but I don't know. Yeah, maybe I they know. saw that we were tagged, so they but maybe we'll shut it down again. Can't tag but I tagged it. Hmm. So oddly, we all follow our own. CCSK live page. I'm sorry, CCSK yeah. live page. Um, let's see if I can. You know what we need to do? I'm gonna like and I'm gonna give I a heart. Can, oh, oh, see, I liked so it. Nice. I didn't do a heart. No, do a heart. I can, try, I can do a heart. Do do always a heart. do a heart. Always do a heart. What does right. that mean? That, it actually gets rated higher. It gets rated oh, higher yeah. than it like. Makes a little heart flag. And, and a little heart. But it gets fine. rated higher than like. Yeah. For your sharing purposes. Mm -hmm. Facebook, it's social media. Parts. Come on. Too because it's not just this is cool. It's not just cool. It's cool. It's like oh, too many parsnips. Um, <laughs> I was trying to say too many parsings. Somehow parsnips, parsnips like, came out. And then a better like. And any and parsnips is like. too many parsnips. I'm good with that. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I even know what parsnips are. Um, uh, anyway, I think it has to do with Thanksgiving. Does it? Well, no, no, I don't I, think so. I think are, they a, are they in that big horn of plenty thing? No, I think it's like a, it's <laughs> cornucopia. Like a, it's either like a root cornucopia. or some sort of a root vegetable or something like that. Or maybe like I believe so. If you're eating it during Thanksgiving, I don't think you're doing something right, but... Never mind. Maybe is somebody Christmas wants to thing. Parsley. Could be. I was going to Google it, but I don't want to wreck the. You don't want to press. Don't press anything. Don't uh, I can actually cop off and Google for just a second here. The um, but no, I. But that you know, people like the weird things for Thanksgiving. But I, my favorite thing that I would ever have for Thanksgiving was my Aunt Judy's Puerto Rican rice. So, it did not fit with any of the other stuff, but it was amazing. Yeah, I fill up half my plate with to it. To where, Colum no, Columbus landed, right? So it'd be down. In the Caribbean, not Plymouth Rock. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so got, yeah. here's the, this is we're we all learned something new, and we could have Columbus, this. Columbus was in the. Caribbean. Yeah, he was closer to down there. Yeah, smarter, yeah. much yeah. better weather. Much better weather. Well, unless it's hurricane season, but um, they have hurricanes back then. I thought bad. that was just only after. Oh, because so of the did a parsnip is only. closely related to a carrot. Oh, it's a root. I think you're right. It's a root. It is. It is. It's a root vegetable, very similar to a carrot or parsley. It's related to both. There we go. See, your so, subconscious mind is on How can it be related to both? Parsley is a leaf. 
Yeah, but it's, it's got a root somewhere. Yeah, it still has a root. That, it's so, still so. in the air. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Agronomy 101. <laughs> Parsley does not just grow in the air. No. Nope. It has roots. <laughs> and it's not so. in the water, so it's not hydroponics either. There, there you right. go. Um, so, but no, parsley, it looks like a carrot. It looks like a white carrot, but come kind of here. funky. Come here for your strange Thanksgiving like cooking needs. That's something weird. But That's what we're doing today. I weird what, I want to know what it tastes like. Uh, now I want to know what it tastes like. I don't know. Well, um, I mean, probably similar to carrot and horseradish made out of. Is that a root in and of itself? It is. It's a, it's a horseradish root, I think. Okay. If you want to try parsnip, take a piece of parsley and a piece of and a carrot, carrot and just eat them together. Them together and eat it. <laughs> didn't say it was a hybrid. But it's, it was closely related. <laughs> They're closely related. Um, well, it'd be closely related to what a parsnip. <laughs> because oh. right to the, it was the used case. as a sweetener before the arrival of cane sugar in Europe. Oh. Parsnip, buddy. so it must be sweeter. Well, that'd be in the beet family then too. Probably. Are beets used for sugar? Beets are definitely used for sugar. I will stick with my sweet potatoes. All right. Love some sweet potatoes. I'm, I'm talking, you eat that, and you're like, this is clearly a dessert, but it's not. It's amazingness. Uh, sweet with potatoes. all the stuff in it, you mean? Like when you put all the marshmallows? Well, after you put the marshmallows and, and the pecan. Yeah. What and else the, do you put in car- it? Maybe brown sugar. Brown sugar. Not caramel. Brown sugar, yes. I think you put um, caramel in there. You can. Uh, I wouldn't mind And parsnips. It. Yeah, and parsnips. <laughs> For color. <laughs> for all your cooking needs, CCSK right. law. Just sprinkle in some. Wait, what do you do when you take like the edge of the right? zest? Right? You get your oh, zest. Parsnip zest. <laughs> hey. Uh, That'd be shaved parsnips. <laughs> ben here. We need to. We got a new flavor of meat. Oh yeah, parsnip a new flavor of meat. Parsnip. Uh, sweet, uh, sweet potato parsnip. Sweet potato parsnip. Sweet, sweet, potato. Potato parsnip. sweet potato. potato parsnip. Yeah, but it's got to be sweet potato parsnip. Wikipedia is failing me. <laughs> really. Do they don't have a description. Well, but All okay, right, so, let's say we're sitting at Thanksgiving and we don't want to talk about politics. Right. What we, we can talk about parsley. And we, or could, parsnips. we could. Or what, or what I posted was. Um, so you know, maybe. Before, yeah. before you hit that, because that's going to be a serious thing. I just want to hit the parsley thing. It says it's, 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 a, a, it's a complex taste similar to carrots. They're sweet but contain more starch and have an earthier, nutty taste. I do want to try it so now, too. That's too much for me to try to put together. in... That's like what people try to describe. It's like them. a cross between a carrot oh. and a peanut. Look at the nuttiness. It's got a nutty aroma. <laughs> I don't know where that. What's the honey that mean? flavor. It's earthy. 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 Earthy tones. Earthy to me doesn't like sound earthy good. Man, so I, did you just eat dirt? I tell you that time I tried that like the scotch from mushroom dirt. I tried a scotch one time and it just tasted like I was eating peat mat, peat moss. Mm. It was just nasty. Okay, now how did you know what yeah, peat moss tastes like? Yeah, how often did you eat? It was what I would imagine. Oh, peat moss oh you like. imagine peat moss. Okay. Because I've smelled lawn get cut. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah that's kind of how yeah, I relate. Peat moss it. does have that earthy sort of just like earthy. aroma about it. Real it's similar earthy. to parsnips. Well, it just a feel. It just like that scent. Like, you know, yeah, that yeah. Produces like humidity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I don't know the magic of it. It's like light dirt. <laughs> light, we are light all dirt. over agronomy today. We are. Man, we're um, something else. That's for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, here we go. That's so James Barth says oh, it's sweet yeah. potato plus butter plus brown sugar plus marshmallows. And he's on the best Thanksgiving, the best Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dish. You know, yes. and, and I'll tell you what, I do not like sweet potatoes. What? But I don't. I can't. But eat do you like that? Like no. Well, no, it's um, too, But we're taking over to CCS. We to my, I know. I went with my daughter. <laughs> I went with my daughter to a cooking class, and they made a sweet potato hash. So it was like sweet potatoes and different things. Yeah. It was like chopped up and those, and that Ooh. was really good. That's the only thing I've ever. I've got the recipe at home. I haven't tried sweet it. Sweet potato hash. So it's like hash yeah. browns, but it, with no, instead of potatoes. Yeah, it's like hash browns. It's got, it's got so sweet, potatoes sweet potatoes and, and, I think sweet potatoes and apples and regular <laughs> potatoes or something like that. It was really good. It was, yeah, it was fantastic. All right. Yeah, it blew me away. It was something yeah. I'd never... Thanks for chiming in, James. Hope yes. you're doing well. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Enjoy. Hope you have an opportunity to enjoy that sweet potato. Earlier concoction. in the no, initial yeah. attempt at broadcasting this, we talked about the pecan and pumpkin pie, but pumpkin I don't eat pumpkin, pumpkin pie, but I'll take the pecan pie. You know, I tell my kids... Pumpkin pie is not so much for the pumpkin pie; it's the delivery of Cool Whip mm-hmm. or Whip Top. <laughs> there was a thing yeah. that I showed my wife on Facebook. You just get pumpkin pie for the whipped top. Or you how, like, how do you eat pumpkin pie? Right. And it had it had like it had whipped cream, and you had like they cut a piece off, and there's this pile of whipped cream, and down the middle there's a right. pumpkin pie in the middle. And I was like, that's, that's, that's exactly what it is. I love pumpkin pie, and that's the way to eat it. I do love pumpkin pie, yeah. we're, but we're talking about the Costco pumpkin pie. Which is like it's like this three big. pumpkin pies. Big. I mean, it's, yeah, it's gigantic. It's like bigger than a pumpkin. It's yeah. gigantic, and the pot, and they have the pecan one that's just as big. Yeah, the pecan one's just a little bit smaller. Oh. But yeah, but for a pecan pie, usually pecan pies yeah. are kind of smaller. Yeah, but this thing is, and they're like super pecani. Mm-hmm. You know, it. so like sometimes pecan pies are just like pecans on top, and it's just that. 
that whatever that stuff is, the, the like stuff the that goop, holds it together. The goop? Yeah, that's goop. what I think it's yeah, called. It's the good goop. goop. That's yeah, a technical good goop. term. Yeah. Um, the which Southern is probably term. just like sugar. sugar. Some kind of sugar-based Something goop. Like, wouldn't be molasses. What would it be? Uh, <laughs> molasses. Car- it's not corn oil. What's that stuff called? Canola? Oh, it's... Oh, man. I don't know. High fructose corn syrup. James, are you there for us? <laughs> <laughs> James. James is our... High like, fructose corn syrup. Sure like happy recipe, Thanksgiving to you, too. Um, yeah. But... Uh, but anyway, yeah. So, they, but they've got a lot more pecans in that Costco pie. But I like people it. do. I mean, yeah, I'll tell you what. You get like a, I said, we're also not going to make it to Costco <laughs> now because if you went now, you might get out by. Tomorrow and then you wouldn't get out by Friday because <laughs> then everybody comes in Friday morning at five in the morning. <laughs> for so the you Black would not Friday. be out till yep. Saturday. Okay, go. I'm going to complain about now. Black Friday for a minute. So the there's no Black Friday anymore. The circular for Walmart, the discounted price for an item that we want to get, is the same price that you can get the item at any other day. That's awesome. They just call it a. They just say, "Oh, they're Black, Black Friday sale." Black Friday every day. I but mean, the not, thing is, is everybody's already blown their Black Friday stuff out. Well, yeah. ever since um, Walmart initially kept pushing it back earlier and earlier until it was like on Thanksgiving Day. Now, like I got uh, no. I'm Home saying Depot. like right. Home Depot, Home Depot started was like November first. You know what? We don't care. <laughs> <They already laughs> it's Black Friday. Right, the Black, Friday. Black Friday. That microwave. We're gonna like, call this Black that. Friday microwave is sixty nine dollars. It was that available two weeks ago. It's become an nice. entire month. Yeah, Black Friday. See, so, I, I gotta believe that they're gonna surprise everybody on Black Friday. And be like, oh wait, we got this extra special. It's it's, it's not just, going to. No, I. But hopefully, it'll just unwind the whole Black Friday thing. And well, Cyber you know, Monday's like already doing a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. Cyber, that's the thing. You don't have to fight anybody, and you get good deals, and you just delivers to you. Yeah, that's pretty much all wins there. It uh, is. It is. But, I just um, wish we were in a zone where we could get that two-hour Amazon delivery. Oh, with the drones. No, not even no, the no, they'll actually they, they have two hour delivery. Yeah, they oh, I got fantastic. my buddy my buddy lives in Clearwater, Florida. And yeah. they'll literally like they're at a party and someone's like, Oh, uh, they needed like an extra mattress for somebody to sleep over and the guy died, got on Amazon, ordered it, and like two hours later the guy shows up with a mattress from Amazon what? for delivery. <laughs> what the heck is Magic. that? I mean, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, no, that's that's would be beautiful things. Yes, yeah, that's that's instant gratification. I just, of course, Costco's they also have, they have liquor, delivery, they also have liquor delivery down there too. So what liquor? You just said groceries and liquor. Well, I could get my entire night. Taken Costco care. is starting to do two-hour delivery of groceries. We're not in that zone yet. Okay. And I don't know if it's we're, every we're, Costco. Yeah, we're but fairly far. We might be a little bit far but, out. Well, you know, if you want something, that would be the that would be the clincher for me to renew my Costco membership. Yeah, they're going to need to do something yeah, like well, that because Myers is getting ready to move in over here, and I'm excited about that. That's right, yeah. Myers is coming. Oh, right by the movie theater. Yeah. yeah. Are they really? Yep. Mm-hmm. It's almost That's done. Myers. It's are they almost really? done. Yeah. Yep. Some of these, I didn't realize they those apartments are like occupied out there. Oh, they're like, already the East Lake uh, apartment development. That whole. Uh-huh. It's like a mixed-use community that's out yeah, there. really being developed out there, right? I, seen I have seen no building, but <laughs> I was talking to uh, Diane Joyner, who was out there for an event uh, last week, and they've got a couple of big apartment buildings out there already. That's so, cool. yeah, we got nice men um, But I just, I, I just yeah. kept, I kept seeing the sign when you're on 49, and it, uh, I thought it was like a still coming soon sort of thing. Right. Right? Yeah, but no, not that like, they've actually started building. Not just building; well, they, people are living out there. So. Wow. I just remember that when we used to live in Indianapolis before we moved to Colorado, they, uh, we always went to Myers. It was just yeah. the best deals, the nicest stuff. I mean, it was good quality stuff. It was, yeah. it was kind of like a much higher end Walmart, I think. A it's huge. They're, they're, all they're all big. Huge. They're, yeah, all they're all big. Very, very so big. This one will be the right too. door. Yeah. If you, you go, go grocery door, over here, yeah. you got to go through you know, all this stuff. Yeah. yeah. But they also, they also have um, their gas stations just about up too out front. So they're going to have yeah. good oh, gas prices to yeah. pay too. The nice thing for us is it's closer than Walmart because it's yeah up an exit Where on is it 49. Then? It's right at um, oh, by the movie theater. Yeah, the it's movie on two. Yeah, it's um, on the other side of 49. Just right on the other side yeah. after it turns into two. Just I mean, turn in like yeah. your own movie theater. It's on the left hand side. Mm-hmm. A Dick's Sporting Goods you know, over that, there. The movie the theater sat out there for like ten years and nothing came in, and then all yeah. of a sudden it's now just they're working really well. Now. It's it's well, the theater and then that one strip of stores that like kept changing. Yeah, um, and then Penny's was the anchor for a long time. It was like the only thing there. Now, Prince yeah. City is over there. Yeah, like there was an office depot there for like three Sport days. Oh no, I've never seen the office depot. No, it wasn't, it wasn't there very long. <laughs> um, is Hobby Lobby out there too? Is yep. that where Hobby Lobby? Yeah, is? I've got Home Goods out there. there. Yeah. They got a lot of good stuff out there. Yeah, a lot yeah. of cool stores. So it's definitely, I think that's an area that's yeah. Because then they coming. built that next set of buildings out where that McAllister's Deli is. And then there's like a bedding yep. place. Yep, that's yeah. a, that's a little strip mall in front of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the and then they're building. Part, I guess yeah. they have all, all that other stuff. But forever, yeah. that thing was 
like super, super light. So mm-hmm. Rick Gosser joined us. Hello, Rick. Oh, hey, Rick. I don't know if he's still there or not. He might have taken off already because I only see one person on there, even though you're on there and I'm on there. So, oh, thank you. Maybe we're well, we could tell if he was still there. We could tell him that we now have a logo that we could like take them and he could put on shirts. We didn't. Have there we go. Time. That's true. Yeah. Well, we're working. We're, we're not quite there. there. We're not quite there. We're yeah. almost there. Officially, so that's good. Um, that is cool. We're growing up in our second year. I'll make a. I'll make a final quick point about Thanksgiving and stuff. Like, if you want to have a good beverage at your Thanksgiving meal, this will work for Christmas too. This right here, caramel apple cider from I Miss Penny. Smoke smoked cider. No. I tried the smoked cider. It was actually pretty good. Like, they got a smoked cider up there, which I hadn't tried before. I tasted a sample of that. That was really good. But, I mean, just this caramel apple cider, I can't get away from it. I'm, you know, amazing. I will tell you that if I was had this caramel apple cider and I had a turkey in front of me and some mashed potatoes and some <laughs> corn, or not corn, I want a green bean casserole. Mm hmm. I mean, that's like pairing your wines right there. Is it? Because this, I mean, I just yep. thinking about this that with this, this is amazing with that. Yep. So you're misbehaving meads. They're talking about yeah. caramel. It's a, they have caramel upside here. Misbehaving meads here. So instead it's of really going good. out to uh, Costco or anything like that, come to misbehaving meads. Come to misbehaving meads and get some of this. Have you finished one of my howlers? Can I refill it yet? Yeah. I'm actually, going yeah. I, think I, I think I'm going so to steal one for the weekend. I'll grab one and fill it up and take it to the family. Yeah. Yeah. Take it over and let my mother-in-law try it and see what she thinks. And nice. instead of Black Friday, okay. I'm getting these as gifts for a lot of people. We got a like from somebody. Hey. Guess I saw something float through there. Somebody, somebody popped on and oh. And popped up. <laughs> Mine's fro- so freezing up. Are you no, freezing? That's right. I'm. I'm. Wait, no, I'm like. Minute, I'm, I went out to data. I got off the network because I was afraid I was dragging down the Xfinity. Are you guys <laughs> on network? Or are you on? Uh, I'm on. Oh, my I'm own. on my. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm on my data. Good. Yep. Yep. So right. anyway, um, what about so when we're talking about, about? Yeah, when we're talking about you know, there's there's all this talk the about how around. there's so much love. Everybody's gonna have a little caramel on the cider. Gonna get a little loosened up and. Yep. I, but we want to avoid politics, right? At my brother's house, it'll be. I think there's still a Wemac household, which is a. A product of one of the big breweries down in uh, down in Indy, um, Sun King. That's one of yep. their Bell Cow um, uh, beers. But um, so you get a little, you know, people may float some joking thing, and then all of a sudden it, it blows up. You know, politics is not. It, it's always one of the things where they say don't talk about politics. You know, now more than ever, it's just so, so polarizing. Oh yeah. So what it's I it's just never going to end well right no. now. So no. I wrote a blog earlier uh, this week that. Uh, Gave you an option, just as fun to talk about would be uh, since the whole family's together. Yeah, it's good to talk about the family and do we have planning things in place? Do we know what's going to happen? And Speaking of family, my cousin just popped on. Hey, what's up, cuz? Sorry, we're not going to get to see it. My, my uh, thing doesn't update here. Well, but we do have to get together. Just so you guys time. are seeing things going on. I, for some I think reason, it's, 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 faster, it's a it's case. Really cool. Yeah, I've got a Samsung. I'm not on the. No, no, but I'm, I'm talking about on the computer thing. Here. <laughs> I'm on Samsung. No, you're not. This oh, you is are. Samsung. You are Samsung. Okay. Yeah. I'm a Samsung too. Mine's new. I just don't have it on. <laughs> All um, right, that did that backfired. But but I, but it, I would think that I would. Be oh, able to, like I saw James. Last thing I saw from James. The last thing I saw was happy. Well, he didn't comment. He just. Uh, no, James said happy. It's just this just showed. I'm up saying that usually a, I'll see like where James joined. joined. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. I don't see any of those. But anyway, so if you go to, well, I'll. Put it up so, there, but right, back to your article. Back to things, so yeah. different things to talk about. And, and I know, as I talk to families, there's a there's a lot of the parent generation that you know they've heard stories they they don't know quite what to do. But we've had experiences where you, know, you get down the road and somebody loses the capacity to actually do things. Yeah, you end up going through a guardianship process, and and that is just <laughs> not no good rough. for anybody. Heck, no. so much no good that. None of us even like to do guardianships. Um, yeah, somehow but, I end up doing them. Yeah, but, but well, the child guardianships. But my, mine's, I do the ones for kids mostly. That's yeah. a different situation. But but, but that's still it's just long drawn out process of trying to get the court to appoint somebody to make decisions for someone after they've lost capacity. Uh, you know, in, in an older age, I don't know what just happened. Music. Yeah, music got super loud and super uh, high strung. Because we're getting pumped. We're getting pumped. <laughs> that was our cue. Right three here. minutes till it's seven. There we go. But. Uh, so, I mean, it may not be the world's greatest topic, but everybody's going to be together, and it's a good time to actually do something productive and kind of have an idea. Get, even if all you just talk about is, you know, what, how people are, are doing, what their thoughts are, you know, you'll, you may have a parent that's starting to feel a little bit on edge about the upkeep of a house or, you know, the responsibilities that are necessary to, keep, to stay in the house and, and what it takes. And so just starting to understand maybe where people's edges are and – Making sure powers of attorney are in place. I, I 
I'm dealing with a probate that if somebody would have put together a hundred dollars and done a deed, we would have completely avoided probate. Um, the probate's going to cost oh, yeah. several thousand dollars. It's going to drag out. It's already eight months old. Um, yeah. I'm the second attorney in on it, and it's it's contentious. It's it's drawn out way more than it needs to be, and it's because of this house. And if there would have just been um, the spouse added to the deed, we wouldn't even have had to worry about it. Uh, yeah. So there's, hey, there's just little things that you can do. And there's a, a five and five document that I talk about, you know, five, five essential documents, five essential questions um, that I'll post a link to. And, and uh, you know, it's, Definitely it's a good conversation starter. Okay. It is because that can get into the meatier topics of, you know, if there are, is larger issues to deal with, you yeah. can trust, you know, wills, what's that? And sometimes it's, there's stuff in place and it's just a matter of, People need, people to, need know. to know about it. Need to yeah. know that's there. And, 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 and I, the interesting thing on that, and just to expound, this actually happened to me. I had, uh, we were at our homecoming, and my wife just hopped on. Hi, honey. You see? We were at my homecoming, and one of my uh, friends was talking about that they had a will done, and the attorney told them not to tell the people in the will anything about it and not to tell the people that they were designating to take care of their kids that they were the designated people to take care of their kids. And I just, it made me shudder. But that's the thing is people don't know because in some cases they're told not to tell. Yeah. In some cases they just think, oh, well, it's on the paper. They'll get it when I go. Yeah. yeah. And there's preparation that needs to be done. Sometimes it, it, I think it helps to have people on the same page where, um, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is what's going on. Yeah. This is how things are set up. Because well, then and it's interesting if somebody redraw. made it in a will 20 years ago and life's uh, circumstances have changed, it might be time to revisit right. that and maybe be able to – even try to find it because a lack of being able to find a will basically leaves it non-existent. Void. I mean, it just, yeah. you can't produce it. It's, you need the executed will. Yeah. Um, but Kurt brings up a really good point of explaining what people need to do right. after the fact. And right. one of your documents to provide is instruction, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's a narrative where people can write down their wishes and give some, identi you know, identify uh, some things that, uh, especially the healthcare decision maker might, Need to know. Yeah, because all of a sudden, thing. you know, you're thrown into the, the, the position of being the healthcare decision maker. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a good idea to know what procedure someone's had, treatments that they've done, um, medications they might be on. So and again, gonna, what's their thought process? I'm going to put know? you on the spot here. Go ahead. So this is a conversation that we're talking about possibly having on Thanksgiving. Sure. What does a adult a parent that's thinking about explaining this to their kids or talking about these documents, and they need to designate one of the many children. Right as designated medical person, yeah. decision maker. How does that, how do, they, how do they handle that? What's a good way for them to handle that conversation without pissing everybody else off? And, and that's, that's, that's a great point because I see, and you know, 15 years ago, it might've been a different situation. The bank rules were different. You know, there was just a lot of different things in the world. But now, so you get people that are concerned about, you know, rubbing somebody the wrong way. Yeah, they love all and, their kids. They don't the reality is mm -hmm. there's, there's usually someone that, um, I'll use my family as an example. If, if we were talking about my mom, and I'm sure she loves me talking about this, my youngest brother would be like the best person to take care of her financial stuff. He's right there. He's got a mind for that. Um, but nothing against my middle brother. I mean, he's, he's a great guy too. But I just, my, my, my youngest brother, and I'm an attorney, so you think, oh, I should be that guy, right? <laughs> right. No, I'm, my brother's there. Yeah. He he he's uh, closer to the level headed. A little more, you know. He, he he's yeah. there and, and can make good observations and act. Um, and and in an odd twist, his his wife, who's a nurse, probably would be a good person to be involved. Now, my other sister in law is a nurse. We have so many nurses in our in our <laughs> family. But I would think, you know, when I talk to people, if you've got sort of the accountant um, business person. That's usually going to end up being a fiduciary type person. And right. You've got someone with some medical background. Not that they're better than everybody else, but sometimes they can cut through the vernacular and get to you know the cards. They have a foundation for yeah for the lingo. They they, yep. they don't yeah. have to say it's so, not just emotional. Decision. Right, exactly. So so those are those are good things to consider. The thing that I guess going to that point, I understand people not wanting to irritate people, and so they just make everybody everything. Right. Hmm. Well, either that's a that, nightmare of, or the, to actually execute. The other option is not talk to people about it. Yeah. So and I'm not going to put someone in. in. I'm not, yeah. I'll, tell, I'll tell this I'll tell person the this person, thing. But not about thing. Yeah. And, and so, I just, so I, it, the, you know, everybody just needs to sort of step back and say, what's in this world today, if you had four people as 
like if all of our siblings, myself and my siblings, were appointed as the co-power of attorney, and I've seen that done, yeah, right. co-executor, the co-trustee, the nightmare of actually doing anything is is so ridiculous because the you're gonna all have to go everywhere, yeah, and and like all sign off on stuff, and some banks are gonna require you to be there all the time, yeah, or you're gonna have to resign, and then did you resign in the right way? I've had a bank that kept kicking back resignations and kicking back appointments. It's just, yeah. it's just crazy. So, it, at the point when I don't, I guess two is not bad if you want to make sure you have sort of a balancing thing. But everybody just needs to understand there's a lot of responsibility when you're appointed with those things. And and while you have kind of an umbrella of acting in good faith, not acting can cause you issues or dragging it out. You get caught up in stuff. Yeah, right. It, it, it just you just want to put the best the best or the ideal cir- circumstance in, in, in play. Um, again, so let's say you you decide not to do anything and you have to go through a guardianship proceeding. It's right. going to be a lot harder yes. for a court to have to go through that vetting process, plus the time it takes. You've yep. gone through that. Well, the expense, too, because then all of a sudden you get five people with five different attorney's bills, five different cases to make, five different you know groups of people they need yeah, to Yeah, and getting into court for less than stand. three grand. I mean, it's oh, just, no, 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 I mean, no, and no. so again, now we're talking about power of attorney that, you know, is, is a couple of powers of attorney and a couple of other documents, you're, you're a few hundred dollars in, um, and you're, you're versus a guardian stress, and yeah. time. It's just yeah. stress. I mean, even though, even though, though like even, even though, sleep well at night, people, people don't, people won't appreciate it if they haven't been through the other way, but, but right, just yeah. that you can understand that there's a lot of stress involved, a lot of lost money in that, yeah. a lot of lost money in probate. There's a lot of things that go down that. If you make that decision now and take care of it and talk about it, it's yeah. going to be something that's going to save yeah. everybody in the long run. They just they might not ever, ever appreciate exactly. it, but yeah. at some point they'll get it. I'll say learn from others' mistakes. Try a free consultation. Like, just sit down and take that five and five document. And, I mean, yeah, it has it nothing. I care. In terms of planning and stuff, it just it it doesn't talk about wills and trusts and things. It talks about the things you need to consider yeah. before you know whether you need a will or a trust or whether you need yep. anything at all. Um, yeah. But the on the you know on the flip flip of that the five documents the powers of attorney and the, the advanced medical directors and narrative the funeral plan things of that nature yeah. um, those are the, the decision making documents you're going to need during your life um, that other stuff's post life but um, yeah but it but it's still I'm just seeing it happen more and more that kids come in they don't <laughs> know what mom or dad owned they don't know. You know where things are. Yeah. Right. Um, you know what they what they're supposed to do with a pension if there's any value in a pension. What do you do with Social Security? What do you do? I mean, there's so many little things. Was there funeral planning? Was there not? What's covered by that? What's not? Yeah. You know, there's just so many things. Because you, you don't want them calling the funeral homes. Do you guys have a prepaid plan for my right. family? No, yeah. we don't. Or or yeah. again, you end up in that yeah. situation of, well, I think mom wanted to be buried. No, I think mom wanted to be cremated. No, I think you know, and they wanted to be over here and. They, the, the funeral plan thing that I have is actually the state. Yeah. It's, it's really built on the state statute, and it it's yeah. real cut and dry. And, and there's things that you can do to alleviate pressure on your kids because when you're sitting across the table, if you've gone through this, it's it's amazingly difficult. Right. And it's why people end up with fifteen to twenty thousand dollars funerals. Absolutely. Because it's like, oh sure, my mom would want the gold plated hinges. Right. Right. <laughs> in, in the in so, the giant reception room. Pause for station identification. We're misbehaving needs. Carol, this is not beer. Mm. This is caramel apple cider. Yes. And it's awesome. I think you'd love it. You should Amazing. come up here and try it. Sometime. Very delicious. Just Very saying. Good. Anyway, yeah. but you're right. No, and that is something where you know you end up. The expenses get crazy, yeah. and depending on you know, some people go to that with their emotions. Um, you can't not be. You're in a you're, highly you're, you're, emotional you're, you're state. Yeah. But what I'm saying I mean, is that you know the initial thing is oh I want to do that I want to do that I want to do that and then all of a sudden you're like whoa twenty grand what, what are you yeah talking about? Exactly. yeah. Like, I have, exactly. to, I have to buy a, a, a thing for the casket to go into and then have to pay to seal it and then pay yeah, for this covering. The and I mean, they'd pay for yeah. the stuff to put in there and yeah. this, that, the other. And you, know, you got all these little bills and everything's so nickel and dime yeah. on that process that it's um, when you, quite you, crazy. I, when, when my father passed away, um, he was in Texas. Mm-hmm. I, I sh- I've shared the story before, but it was it took us a couple of days. To figure out, well, does he want to be buried yeah. or cremated? Does he want to be right. buried there or cremated? I mean, it was just all these things that we had to go through, and I think we came to a, a great plan. 
Um, but it took it literally took a couple of days, and you're getting the ME calling, right. like, yeah. "Hey, we 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 need a we decision on this. We're done. We need to go." Yeah. And in that situation, if we would have tried to fly him, and back I will, and I'll tell you, it would have been a mess. The, the people that um, work for the funeral homes are fantastic, but they are salespeople, and they will peacefully, calmly walk you into yeah. debt. Yeah. They're doing it for a great thing because you know you will you know you'll be happy. At some level, that hey, we've had a great service, beautiful castle, oh, yeah. and stuff. But ultimately, it's great something services, going in yeah. a hole in the ground that's going to never be seen again. Right. Um, so, on some level, there's a balance there. But I think overall, but it's all, also wanting to know what your parents, well, knowing what yeah, they want, yeah, knowing yeah. what they want. And that's why this is a good conversation to have, especially around. This. I think we've yeah. all been through the situation. We've seen both sides of the situation, both as attorneys and, and personally, where we've seen it go extremely smoothly because somebody had entirely pre uh, pre-planned. I've seen right. my aunt had a, had a trust set up. She sat down, uh, my uh, other aunts and uncles sat down and just, they knocked it out. Like they were like, wow, I can't believe how smoothly that went because of how well she had everything planned. Right. And then we've all seen the other side where it's contentious and just everything blows up. Yeah. And because no planning was done. Right. Seems and so we've definitely seen come both of those. Have some of those come through. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I think nasty, that's yeah. the chance. When I tell people, you know, when you're in that early stages of, of someone passing, it doesn't matter if it was a lingering illness or it just happened. Mm-hmm. Um, when you're suddenly tossed into that highly emotionally charged state, that is the, the last place you need to be making highly logistical decisions. Right. Indeed. So, you know, again, having an understanding of, and a lot of times between spouses, they have an idea. But again, I'll cite another my aunt, when my other aunt passed away. Yeah, you know, I, I remember talking to her, and she just didn't have any idea but, what wanted to happen. And so, yeah, you, so, you just you need to have that conversation with someone. Just you don't have to detail people, everything, but have a framework. Even that first question: Do you want to be buried or cremated or entombed? I guess is the other option. Well, because it causes arguments. Oh yeah, people are in emotional time, and this person wants this, this, person, but nobody knows what that person that that, that passed wants. Right. Yeah. And so, the more you can list out and say, "Look, I want to be cremated, and I want to have this type of service." Keep the you know, keep it down. Keep it down. I rarely talk down. to people that yeah. say they really want a twenty thousand dollars funeral. Yeah. There was one guy I talked to who literally was going to pay to fly everybody someplace. He was going to do a burial at sea, but he had the oh, whole wow. thing planned out. And yeah. For. Now that's so, a cool idea. Yeah. If you got money and everybody's you want to do, everybody's <laughs> going on a cruise. Right. Yeah. Now the so, people that don't get to go on the cruise, sorry, sorry for they're right. they're going to uh, yeah. You make but, sure you get the right everybody. But more the often than not, you'll hear people say, "I oh, just throw me in a pine box, and bury me in the backyard." That's not legal. Um, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, don't actually try to do that. Yeah. Um, neither then, is neither is don't put me in a nursing home. Just take me out back and shoot me in the head. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Do that, yeah. That, that doesn't work. Yeah, I've got a bullet for that approach to long term care. Long term care. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, they, they, you hear a lot of different things when, when you talk to people about that, but you talk to people about it. Um, I think that's it's, it's interesting because sometimes people will have that conversation and it's fine. Sometimes parents don't want to talk about it. Sometimes kids don't want to talk about it. Kids are like, oh, mom, you're fine. Nothing's ever going to happen to you. You know, it's like there's mm-hmm. denial that, that something's going to happen. But, you know, yeah. Yeah. And, but the reality is day. at some point there is no one in history as far as we know that's, that's not dying. That's uh, true. As far There's as a couple biblical situations that people were taken, biblical, extended, you know, ascended, yeah. or you know, taken away. Yeah. Yeah. But, but um, uh, and so then in this case, you didn't have to worry about a funeral. Right. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, but, but maybe they have pre planned. Right. Right. It just went for nothing. Right. But let's talk generally. All of this, though, is better than talking about politics for right. Thanksgiving. That's Absolutely. the point. That's the point. the point. Don't that, get caught up in the. Don't get caught up in politics. Don't make the joke that you think it's just going to go over without anybody responding. It's going to lead to yeah, heartache. Don't. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's someone's going to take it the wrong way. It's almost someone's going to flip back. Yeah. Well, well we got started late. Right, so. We did, but then, you know what? That's okay because this was a. Hey, my friend Donnie joined too. So. so now it's. Oh, right. See, I didn't see. I don't see. Yeah, that. it's all filling up. We're good there. Yeah, we didn't see any of that. I think it's who is who's connected to him. Interesting. Is that what you think? No, yeah, because it was your cousin. But we should. But we should be able. Carol's a friend of ours. But um, well, I know Carol. This is his girl. No, you don't. You don't know the name. You don't know Carol, but Isaac and I know Carol's Carol. Carol's fantastic. Carol. Right. Carol is awesome. Carol. Everybody Carol's loves Carol. Awesome. Carol loves Carol. She is all the energy in the world. Yeah. yeah. So I just tried to like. So he joined, and I was gonna. So I got Donny Osmond. Donny Osmond. Wow. Hey, Donny Osmond. <laughs> hey, Donny Osmond. <laughs> oh, Why did word. these people tag me in their legal thing? Don't play? understand. Yeah, but so. we are CCSK Law here at Misbehaving Meads. Yep. Yes, uh, again, Jordan is on assignment, but Kurt, RG, and myself, Isaac, we're here. We're here Thank you for uh, joining us. For our uh, turkey talk. Oh, Shelly. Hey, Shelly. Turkey talk. See you at the Karate tomorrow. 
There you go. Can't wait to see you. I'm sure yeah. they're. It's uh, my my uh, son's best friend's mother, and they're in karate yeah. together. And they have a blast. Nice. Yeah, he's doing pretty so, well. Huh? So I'll yeah. put the yeah, uh, link to the got blog that's got the five and five thing on it up on. Yeah, it sounds like good. Maybe idea. if I can do that, I don't know. We'll see <laughs> if I can pull that off. Um, who knows what I can link and what I can. If not, put it in the comments later. Or yeah, something we'll put it in there. Yep. So yeah, um, we'll take care of it. Yeah, that looks like I've got it. So everybody anyway. had a safe, awesome Thanksgiving. Drive safely if you're driving. Yep. Um, Be safe in Costco if you go to Costco. Don't get stampeded at the stores on Good Friday or Black yep. Friday. It's not yep. Good Friday. We don't want it to be Good Friday, <laughs> but Black Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday. Yep. Yeah. That's some Good one. Friday, I guess. It could be, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, there's so, that. You got the link. All right. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Yeah. So if you click on that. It'll take you to the blog, and there's a link to the five and five. But, um, we'll send that. I can email that out to you. Um, it's a. It's just a good conversation piece. Um, just kind you. of make it sure. easier, make it palatable. Um, kind of walk walk through the thought processes of, of what you need to think about. Yeah. So, but anyway, thanks. Awesome. Enjoy. Yeah. Travel safely. Uh, thanks did, for hanging with us. You're home, right? So you're here. Yep. Yep. Uh, I got uh, family in Portage. Oh, oh so that's right. You're doing the yeah. And then driving down towards Indy. So I got oh my family goodness. down there too. Be safe driving. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, you betcha. Yep, we'll be yeah. heading to Lafayette morning of and then back for, I just found out tonight, I think we're doing something that night. Back oh, over yeah. here. Wow. Okay. And then I, cool. I got, I'll be remiss to not mention this, and I'll be back down Lafayette on Saturday because it is awesome. oh. Oak and Bucket Day. Yep, so very cool. Go Boilers. And, uh, Boy. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what... Uh, That's as bad as politics, isn't it? That's it, as bad as politics. It, I don't know. Hey, you know, how about that estate kind of planning, am I right? Kind of a cool... Uh, Kind of a cool uh, year. Tradition. Actually, yeah. whoever wins the game will get to go to a bowl. Really? Yeah. Okay. See, I so, don't follow enough. I, I did. I did get my undergrad from. It's IUPUI though. Oh, okay. Long, uh, long, 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 long time ago. Still has an <laughs> IU logo on it. It does. Yeah. Um, I got a lot of friends that went to Purdue. I don't know why. I just never. Clear. Yeah. 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 I went there. It would have been a good. Way back when, I mean, <laughs> the two schools really covered a lot of ground separately. So, like, we're glad you're here as an attorney. Right. So like your uh, five alpha law idea for Purdue. Though. Yeah, I still got to get back with uh, President Mitch, Daniels. Mitch Daniels, yeah. because we know you're watching. If nobody, if anybody Mitch, actually runs, it. runs into Mitch, uh, my man Mitch, throw, throw, throw it out, out there. Pitch That's that right. uh, the Valpo Law School is for sale. I haven't seen who's listing it. Who's yeah. <laughs> have you seen a sign yet? No, <laughs> the sale out front for sale. Yeah, for sale by owner. For sale by owner. Law school. I, um, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's been an interesting bit of news that happened over the course of the last uh, week or so yeah but uh we'll save that for next week we'll we save that for track. next week yeah we'll, yeah. we'll but, but i'm progresses. all for uh purdue buying uh, yeah, what great. is it uh boiler lawyer up that's Ooh, my hashtag, hashtag, yeah, on yeah. Yeah. hashtag on that yeah hashtag wow. boiler boiler lawyer like up. combined like lawyer up lawyer up i, like I started lawyer. to do that and I, I broke it down a little bit yeah, but, yeah. Uh, thanks just, again for joining us we appreciate it have a great thanksgiving check us out at ccsklaw.com that's the one Great night, everybody. Yeah.